Hey folks, I'm in the market for a travel laptop and I want to take a look at this $800 Snapdragon X Elite. I got from Micro Center, open box, but usually at now retails for $800. This is out Cyberpunk um, and other video games, similar to what I've done for the MacBook. So this is also running on an ARM processor, Snapdragon, similar to what Apple Silicon is. Um, but I'll say that Windows, Microsoft has not optimized it as well. We're running at the AMD FSR at 1920 by 800. Um, frame gens turned off in Windows for multiple of these games because it's kind of busted on Snapdragon and also you aren't able to turn down the resolution. But from here, we can see that the game is running at 40 frames per second at medium. And again, compared to what I just showcased on the M1 Max, um, and I think I showed on that MacBook Air 4, M4, um, you know, M1 Max can run at ultra 60 frames per second with DLSS and frame gen. Meanwhile, the M4 could get mm. similar settings, low settings, um, and could also boost up to around six, uh, like 40 frames per second. So kind of on par with the MacBook Air. Um, so one caveat here is that Windows 11 ARM running on Snapdragon mm. still has to do an emulation layer, which they do through Prism. Um, whereas MacBook Airs go through the uh, Rosetta or Rosetta 2. All this to say that, you know, for people considering travel laptops, I do a little bit at the end consider other laptops in this price range of 600 to 800. We can basically, you know, the Snapdragon I thought was great for open box. You get 32 gigabytes of RAM, and then you also get, um, you know, all the features OLED, which is 20 hertz. But there are other options you could get for this price range, um, and especially if. I think AM, with Lunar Lake AMD processor giving you good specs, along with the Intel Lunar Lake also giving you good graphics and battery life, kind of a proposition for Snapdragon isn't really there. Here I was just showcasing that Oblivion actually just crashed, um, so it's not able to run. Um, here I'm testing out Marvel Rivals. So unfortunately I was doing OBS, it doesn't seem to record, Does also because of Snapdragon. Um, I think some of the settings and performance is lost in OBS, um, but luckily I had this time I decided to record on the iPhone. Here we're running at, when you hit optimize at low settings, um, you could change the resolution to go, again, when you turn frame gen off, that allows you to go full screen and turn some of the resolution down. Um, and we're actually getting like 40 frames per second. So unfortunately, like I mentioned, OBS didn't record. I might try doing uh, Windows screen recording, which also allows for video, though I'm not sure if it allows for audio. Um, and here we're going to, again, look at some of the settings. So you could go down, bump down to 720p. And if you change the FSR settings, you could actually get around 60 frames per second. But everything is, of course, at low. And on the screen, the native resolution is like 2K. So, um, you know, to me, compared to what you're doing on MacBook Airs, you know, when you're using crossovers, crossovers to play some of these games, you also have the same compatibility issues. But uh, at least from my testing on the M1 Max, Marvel Rivals wasn't running at all, um, even at the latest beta and the latest crossover. Um, and then also keep in mind that when you run most games on MacBooks, you're not running the full retina resolution. Um, so here I think it's an appropriate test. Um, now, of course, I might actually pick up an AMD AI 350, and I'll talk about it later in the video, other options in the same price range. But I think you could actually run better performance, of course, with no Windows 11 ARM and you know, x86 and AMD have pretty good uh, integrated graphics cards. And Lunar Lake as well with the Arctic 130V uh, or 140V, depending on which one you get and what price range you're willing to go for. I think at this eight, like $800, $600 laptop, the Snapdragon offers, in all, in all honesty, I think the only benefit of Snapdragon is that you could close the lid and get into a sleep zero state, S0 state, which is similar to MacBooks when you just close the lid and it works. Whereas, um, you know, Windows 11, if you research this, AMD, Intel, that you can't like sleep laptop. It usually just hibernates. Um, so here you get like instant on and off, which is, I think, the closest to what you'd get in a MacBook experience. So here is Spider-Man. I showed this on the M1 Max, almost hitting 90 frames per second with DLSS and frame gen. Here, like going down, dipping down to 20. So I think it's still like playable but not like the best settings and you probably get a better uh, output doing AMD or going with a Lunar Lake uh, option. So I'll show some of those videos again at the end for some of those laptops. Last one, classic game to test is I do it every time is 
the Dota 2, and you can see the stutter when loading, similar to what it was in MacBooks. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think there's some settings. One thing I will note is that this is running the Canary build, um, which is kind of the latest version of Windows 11 ARM. And then there was a another graphics update I could have done, but I was just testing out what the stable one is. So there's more testing to do here. Um, maybe I'll keep this device long term and then also show uh, get like a AMD or maybe give this to my brother so I could record videos later in the future over the years. Uh, but I think the best settings to actually showcase is that you watch a game um, to, to illustrate how it would be when you're actually playing. Because um, before I've just done demo mode and stuff like that. And it's funny you're seeing my parents uh, take care of my kid. Um, little baby in the background. Woo! But yeah, like I'm showcasing here, if you go with the 226V, which is core five yeah you you lose some on the single and the multi-core but intel uh their graphics card is pretty good and here kind of at the similar price range you'd see the ai 350 available so this arrow is actually really interesting because it runs at two uh like two pounds and then if you're willing to go up open box depending on what you're comfortable with at best buy you can even get the rtx um 4060 so there's actually almost like a better advantage there I actually almost ended my video, but then I remembered that I actually was downloading uh, the Hogwarts game. So you still don't have full screen. So one thing to keep in mind is if you actually want to do window to turn the resolution down, you have to change window settings is the only way to get it. Also, I tested out recording on uh, not OBS this time, but on a uh, snipping tool. Um, so here we're seeing 20 frames per second running at the native resolution, which is two, two th around three, 3K. Um, but like I mentioned, for games that don't actually allow um, full screen mode and only do windowed full screen, if you wanted it to like take up more of your screen, you have to change your display settings. But here, even testing going to medium, we're showcasing, um, you know, still 30 frames per second. You get this, of course, if you notice, FSR is turned to ultra performance. And once we finally get down to windowed mode, we can turn uh, resolution down, <laughs> still run performance mode. Um, so some people will argue that that, that has negligible um, impact, but here we can see getting 45 now to 50 frames per second, um, when, at least in this beginning phase. And for a reminder, what we were showcasing on the M4 Mac, or not M4, the M1 Max was at certain resolutions, you could get 60 frames per second with DLSS and frame gen on. And the reason frame gen is not on in Snapdragon is because I've always found it to not be working properly. Um, so with that being said, uh, that's been my kind of high level review. Um, if you get an open box Zephyrus G14 2024 model, I think that might be the best you know bang for your buck of a, a $600 to $800 laptop, um, especially for travel and playing games. Um, but who's, who knows, maybe I'll get that AI350. Um, I might even eyes splurging and getting a uh, G16 with HX3070, which is on Openbox Best Buy. But yeah, now's a good time in the laptop space to get used laptops um, since the 2025 models have been out for a while. And yeah, I know what you guys' thoughts are. See you guys in the next video. Bye.